So we have the double displacement reaction of barium hydroxide plus iron three chloride. So let's balance this equation. We have one barium and then this OH group, it's called the hydroxide group. It stays together. We have OH here and OH here. It's a polyatomic ion and it's very helpful just to count this as one item. So I have one OH times two, that gives me two hydroxide ions, one iron and three chlorine atoms. On the product side of the equation, one barium, then three of our hydroxides, one iron, and then chlorines, we have two. Let's fix the chlorines first. I have two here and three here. It's very hard to work with these odd numbers. So I'm gonna put a two in front of the FeCl3. Then I have three times two, that equals six. And the two, it applies to everything. So I have one times two. For the iron, I have two irons. But now I can come over on this side of the equation here and to get six chlorines here to balance this six, I can put a three in front of the BaCl2. So I have two times three, that gives me six. And then for barium, I have the one times the three. So that gives me three of those. Let's balance the irons next and see how that works out because we could put a two here in front of the FeOH3, the iron three hydroxide. We'd have one times two. That would give us two irons. And then we have three times the one hydroxide. We have our three hydroxides times two. That gives us six hydroxides. So now we have the irons, the chlorines are balanced. And to get, and I can see if I put a three as my coefficient in front of the barium hydroxide, one times three, that'll give me three bariums. And then two times the one, so I have two hydroxides times the three, that'll give me six. And this equation is balanced. So there's two keys to balancing this. One, if you count the hydroxide as just one item, it makes it much easier. You're not counting all these different oxygens and hydrogens. And then if you have an odd number, like we did with the chlorine at first, if you can get that to an even number, that'll often make the balancing go a lot better. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaOH2 plus FeCl3, barium hydroxide plus iron three chloride. Thanks for watching.